everyone. It's Chloe from the Arizona Science Center. Thank you so much for joining me for this Facebook Live. We do this every day, Mondays through Fridays from 1230 until whenever it ends. But thank you so much. Today we're going to be learning all about light, light and how it travels. So I have some materials here in front of me that we're going to make some observations about. And then once we're done making our observations, we're going to see if we can manipulate those waves. So I have a flashlight. Have you ever had to use a flashlight at home? I also have this little thing. Have you seen one of these before? So this is something that you may have seen on TV or maybe if you have a cat or another kind of pet at home, you may have used something like this as well. So this is my flashlight. I have a black sheet of paper here so it can help us make some observations about what happens when I turn on my flashlight. My flashlight wants to come on. Here we go. So you can kind of see that my flashlight is producing light. What color light is this? It's a little hard to tell on the black sheet of paper, but I'd say maybe it's a yellow or a white color. Is there anything that you already know about light? Most of us see it every day, so I'm sure we can make some observations. Hmm, an observation I can make right now is that the light from this classroom those ceiling lights are what's lighting the room. If I didn't have the ceiling lights on, it would be really dark and I probably wouldn't be able to see. Is the room that you're in bright or dark? Is it bright because of the sunlight maybe? Or is it bright because of another light source? Well, now it's time to take a look at my laser and we're going to see if our laser is similar or different to our flashlight. What do you think? it looks like my laser is pretty different. It looks like the beam is a little bit more concentrated than in my flashlight. It's also red, right? So there's some differences, but what is light? Do you know what light is? What do you think light is? So light brightens up the dark areas. Sometimes you might need to use a flashlight for if you're walking in the forest and you want to be able to light the pathway in front of you, but does light ever take weird right turns or when you're trying to shine a flashlight at a tree, does it shoot up in the air and accidentally get the bird that's up above your head? Not usually, right? Light tends to travel straight. When I use this flashlight, I need to hold the paper right in front of it in order for you to see the light. If I hold the paper to the left, you don't see the light anymore because the light is only going to be traveling straight. But why is that? Why does light travel straight in front of us as opposed to taking those weird turns going up and down? Well, light is actually made up of waves. Now, waves can look just like the waves in the ocean, and we can use those waves to learn about how light behaves. So sometimes light waves can be long and fat, and sometimes they can be shorter and have a smaller area between the crest, which is the top of the wave, or the trough, which is the bottom of the wave. So we can use our knowledge of light and waves to learn how to manipulate those waves. Light is actually what we'd call electromagnetic radiation. That's a big word. If we break it down, electro, like electricity, magnetic, kind of like, you know, magnets, and radiation. Radiation just means that something's giving off energy. So our flashlight is giving off energy and we can use that energy to brighten our ways, but there's also a kind of light that we sometimes can't see. For example, I have this cup here. What color are my cup? Looks like I have some green and I have some yellow. Well, light that we can see is gonna be as if we can only see green. Now, if I can only see green, the other colors are still there, I just can't see them. So to me, it would look as though the lid and the straw are just floating in midair but I know that there's a yellow cup underneath that's holding it in place. Light waves, the waves that we can't see, are kind of the same thing. There's those waves, kind of like the yellow on the cup that I can't see, but there's waves that we can't see every day around us, and that's going to be invisible light. Things like microwaves and radio waves are light waves that we can't see. But you know that you can hear radio waves. If you've ever been in the car, you can hear those radio waves. And a microwave, if you have a microwave at home, it can heat up your food, right? So those are waves that we can't see because these waves that it has, they're not going to be perceivable to our eyes. But that doesn't mean that they aren't there. So we now know 
that light is a kind of radiation. It's giving off energy, and we know that it travels straight, but does it ever travel in a different way? Have you ever tried to use a flashlight to look around a corner? You really can't do that, right? You can't just turn on your flashlight and shine it at someone who's on the other side of the wall. What might you need in order to do something like that? Hmm. Maybe you'll need a little kind of a mirror, right? If you have a mirror like this one, this is a little mirror, but then I can use my flashlights and my mirror to manipulate how those waves move because we already know that the light wants to travel straight, but if I can manipulate that light, sometimes if you have a sibling in your car, maybe you'll move something shiny around in order to get the light in their eyes, and that's how you're manipulating waves at home too. Do you think the waves from my flashlight are similar to the waves from my laser? Did they behave the same way when we first tried them? Let's see again. So I kind of showed you what it looks like when I use the flashlight in the mirror. You can kind of see it glinting off of my screen over there, right? That bright light is from my flashlight and I'm using the mirror to move it around. Do you think that my laser will do the same thing? Let's try and see. If I aim it there, oh, where's the laser? I don't see it. Oh, I think it's on me somewhere. So it does seem as though it's doing the same thing. Those waves are bouncing off of my mirror and hitting something else, but it looks a little bit different, right? Because again, our laser is a slightly more concentrated light source than my flashlight is. But do you think I can manipulate those waves maybe in another way? What about through water? How does light usually behave through water? Well, I've got a nice big container here Let's wait until the coloring adjusts to the background, which is my purple shirt. If I shine the flashlight in there, it just kind of lights up the whole thing. But maybe if I shine my laser through there, we might be able to see something a little different. Hmm. Can't really see, but it looks as though my laser's traveling right through the water. What about if I stick my finger in the water? Does my finger look different when it enters the water? Might look a little bit bigger. So those light waves actually slow down once they enter water. So we see things a little bit differently through that water. But I'm gonna try something where I can actually move the water around. So I have this jug right here. I'm going to fill it up with water. Now I taped another laser pointer onto it and there's a little hole out the very end. So when I shine my lights or my laser, I can actually see that the laser is going right through the bottle and hitting my finger. Can you kind of see that? What happens if I were to try to shine my laser through this? So I've got my nice jug of water. I have a little funnel here. And we're going to pour some of that water into this cup. And we're gonna find out what happens when I try to shine my laser through the water out of the hole. Oh, looks like some water already wants to come out. So if I shine it like that, and then maybe I can use some extra tape to hold down my laser. Hmm. Let's see if I hold it like this. I don't know if you can really see it, but I can shine the laser and it's actually hitting my finger through the other side. Let's see what happens if I turn the lights off. Maybe you'll be able to see the laser a bit better. So the laser is shining through the water and lighting up my finger at the very end. Can you see that? So even though light usually travels straight, I can use the light in the water to direct where that light goes. All because I know about light waves. So this is a really easy one to try at home. You just gotta make sure to know where you're aiming the water. I kind of got water a little bit everywhere. But now we know about light, we know about light waves, so we know how light is traveling. Light can usually go straight in front of us, but if you're able to manipulate it like with the water here, you can actually curve the light because you know how to use that with those light waves. You know that it's 
hitting the water surface and light is refracting the water and it's bouncing all around and so it goes exactly where the water tells it to go. Well, thank you so much for watching this Facebook Live with me today. If you like this content and you want to see more like it, be sure to check us out at our website. We put up content like this all the time. Again, these lives are going to happen every day, Mondays through Fridays. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.